Okay, I want to show you how to create your own free website on Blogger. Blogger is uh, a part of Google, and it's actually pretty pretty easy. It's actually pretty nice as well. So I'm going to take you through that real quick. So first thing I've done is I've gone through here, and I just searched for Blogger in Google, and I got the first hit, create your free blog. So I go on there, and what I want to do is sign up. Got the big sign up button here. Click on that. And you want to enter your information here. And again, if you get uh, if you get this sorted out, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, put in my name, my username, okay. A lot of usernames are just taken, so let's do something. Yeah, Mr. B123 should be fine, okay. Uh, someone's already got that. I'm going to do Brant Mister. Sure, that's just fine. Uh, create a password. Again, do it something that you know that you'll be able to remember. Um, set your true birthday. Okay, and I am a guy. Your phone number, I don't know if you're required to put this in here, but if for some reason your uh, password gets forgotten or something like that, this is how they uh, how they get back to you with that. Current email address, if you have another email address, you want to link it. Again, if you lose your password or something like that, they can fix you with that. You got to do the CAPTCHA. If you can possibly read that. You got to agree to the privacy policy, and I would turn that off, but that's just me. Step. Okay, so I didn't put my phone number or another email in there. It seemed to work just fine. Okay, now I go back to Blogger, and now that I've got my uh, Google account created, um, I want to forget about Google Plus. That's uh, kind of like Facebook if you're not familiar with it. We're going to just do just Blogger. Okay, so my display name, Brant Mister. I've already got one of these accounts, so I'm just doing this one with some kind of funny information in it. Um, I can turn that off so you don't get emails. This is, uh, I mean, now you have a Gmail account too, so if you didn't have one before, it's kind of nice. Continue to Blogger. Okay, now you've got everything you see here. Uh, this is just a bunch of information about Blogger itself. I wouldn't worry about that. But what you want to do is go over here to New Blog, and this is going to be Digital Media Example Blog. And the address, you can choose something that's going to be, you know, exemplary. Again, a lot of like common words and phrases are taken. But I'm going to use an acronym, DMEB. It's not available, so I'm going to do DMEB5. Okay, so that's Digital Media Example Blog 5. Uh, you can pick a different template. You can change this later too if you want. Um, I think the one I'm using for class is called Awesome Ink. But let's try Watermark. Cre create blog. It's creating the blog for us. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now we've got our blog up and ready to go. Um, you can see I can start posting if I wanted to just have it as a single feed, but what we want to do is do it more like a web page. So if I go on here, I can click on that, go down to pages, and here it's got one page, it's the home page. You, you can just post on that, but it's sort of like a regular blog where you just have entries and you just enter them one after the other. What we want to do is we want to click on new page, blank page, and this is going to be something where we can put in student work. You can put in examples of your work, um, kind of, that's the main point of us doing this for the class, for you to kind of keep track of this as a portfolio, and it's going to help me with grading, and we can also use it for critique, so we can look at each other's work and kind of give each other feedback, okay? So the first thing you need to do when you've got that new page is you got to choose a title for that page, and this is going to be my artwork or how about um, personal portfolio sounds a little official not too bad okay now at this point what I can do is I can uh, publish I can preview but we don't have any content in here um, so I'm gonna add a piece of content so I'm gonna go back into my finder and I've got some of these face swaps I did earlier and uh, I got my favorite picture of just Lena Gober so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to um, this little tiny picture thing here, I can click on that picture, and the first option is upload, because I want to upload a picture. I can choose different 
things. You, if you can even use the webcam right on the computer. Uh, if you got stuff on your phone, again, not, don't really want you messing with your phones too much at school. Uh, but you know, if you got a picture you need to put on here that's of your artwork, we can work something out. So again, click Choose Files, and then go to wherever your file is on your computer. Mine's Face Swap. Just Lena Gober. Choose, and then it's uploaded. Now to add it, I got to make sure that it's highlighted. So it's on there, I double clicked on it, it's right on there, okay? Uh, now I can also, since I'm in compose mode, I can go through here and I can actually type, uh, this is my new art piece for the year. I, I want to do many face swaps because they are funny. Okay, so you can put on a little bit of description, anything like that. Uh, it might vary for different projects. I might actually give you specific requirements on an artist statement, how you're supposed to respond to it. But in this case, just for the example, you're going to put up a picture of a face swap on there, say a couple sentences about it. Um, you can also click once on the image and you can adjust the size of it. So I can choose extra large. Maybe I'm going to do it extra large. It looks nice. Now at any point, you can it's kind of auto saves for you. You can click preview. And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a little funky, but uh, he, this is what the that page on the uh, digital media example blog is going to look like. Okay, so I can close out of that because it's just a preview. I got this. When I'm all done with that, what I want to do is push publish. Okay, and now personal portfolio. If I go on there, is this is actually online, ready to go? So I click back now, and what I want to do is I can go through back to uh, show pages as and I can choose this as top tabs or side links and top tabs makes this look more like a regular web page it's pretty nice so click top tabs click save arrangement and now when we click on our home page you can see I've got my top tabs here where I can click from personal portfolio back to home okay click back and uh, it's actually pretty nice. Okay, keep clicking back, go back to my editor, and within here, uh, again, if I ever want to go back into personal portfolio and change it, I just gotta make sure I'm logged into the blogger page and I'm logged in, and then I just will click on pages. Like it'll, it'll usually come up to something like this. On the left side, you see pages. Click on edit for the one you want to edit, and you can just continue to go right in here, type right in here, add images. You can link to other websites uh, that you think are cool. If for some reason there's a, you made a movie and we posted it on YouTube, you can put that on here and we can cover that a little bit later. Um, also, if you want, you can click up on your profile here and you can go under account settings and uh, you can adjust anything you would need to do here. Um, and that basically covers that for today. So we're gonna use that just to simply put up our uh, face swap for now, and then we'll continue to put all of our art projects up online. Thanks for watching.